guys, it's Catalia. I'm here at Herbst Conroe with Dave Kaufman. Hey guys. So we're gonna go walk around the show and check out some cool animals and tour some tables together. And I'm gonna also show you guys my table like I always do. And I think this video is going to be in two parts. So I'll have a day one and day two. Um, if you haven't subscribed to Dave's channel, you should definitely do that. He's been to like New Caledonia and all these cool places. Oh, I have and been, yeah. you have, did yeah. you, do you remember doing that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, definitely go check out his video. So I think it's going to be an awesome day. It's going to be a great day. Let's go. The drool, it flows. Which one are you eyeballing? Orange Shreem and she yellow belly. Ooh. Will you buy this with me with all your YouTube money? All I need is $850. So go to her Patreon and be a patron of hers and then she can afford to buy me this or she can make much more videos for you guys. Go to her Patreon. So I'm really into pies, really into pies. So what I do is I look for all the other morphs out there that I can put into pie. It's a long-term project because if I bought this and it's not head pie, yeah. then I have to make my own heads and then I have to go and it's a it's a like a two-year year, a two-year right. project right. at but least. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> so orange dream butter. So butter makes it yellow. Orange dream makes it. I forgot. Oh, orange. <laughs> yellow belly doesn't really mean yellow belly. But PH pied, okay. that means possible het pied. Okay, PH. Yes. Possible het. It's not the PH balance of the snake, it's possible <laughs> het. Other than a timber rattlesnake, the Eastern Diamondback is my favorite. I just did a video where I was down in Florida. Every single time that I've been in this snake's range in the wild and tried to find it, I didn't. And then just, whatever, a month ago or so, or whenever I posted that video, I finally found this guy in the wild and it was super awesome. Catalina knows about it. I was totally excited. And, and you know about that from watching my videos 10 times. A, a day. No, but these guys are just such amazing snakes. These are the biggest rattlesnake species in the world. And this one He's gorgeous. is a super huge one, actually. I kind of want to pet him. Maybe you should ask if I can pet him. Well, here, let's just... Just give a little kiss or something? No. <laughs> we do not play with the venomous snake. No, we do not. Very Even much. though I want to. Well, if, you know, and actually, a snake this size, I mean, look at the size of his head. Half of those are venom glands. Yeah. So if this guy tags you, you're going to get a rash. Yeah. You know, venom in rattlesnakes, it varies based on location and by what the particular snake is eating. Okay. And it gets really confusing because if you're like bit by this snake in northern Florida, yeah. and it might have a different anti-venom than one from Georgia. It's, it's really weird. Yeah. It's really weird and it makes things very difficult. So don't get bit by rattlesnakes. Don't do it. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Yeah. Yes. So these darker guys are dwarfs, yeah, and the lighter ones are uh, spectacles. Ooh. How big do these get? About six feet, seven feet. Six feet? As adults, yeah. And then the dwarfs, yeah. 
about four feet. Okay. I didn't find a home for the rescues just yet, so I brought my male ringtail mosaic from Maribel and Mister. Here's his sheet, and it's really bad because the printer I used did not want to freaking work. Here's the diet page. And then I brought Dahlia and Zen again, my two rescues. So hopefully I can find them at home at the show, and if not, I'm gonna be posting them on Facebook and everything to see if anyone would want to get some rescues. And here I have a little hatchling. Now I have the Comet and Zeppelin baby again. I brought Zeppelin, I brought Comet, a bunch of people have been holding them. And then Astrid, she's been pretty chill actually. Here's my card. The winner of the... And I brought my new gargoyle that I haven't shown you guys yet. But I'm going to be making a video all about all my geckos soon, so you'll learn more about him later. Reptile Report Award, some more art, I need to make more, stickers, t-shirts, all of my merch and stuff you can buy on my Etsy shop, which is Catalia, so check that out. Okay, I'm here with Sarah, who I think you guys know by this point. So, were you fixing my hair? I was. Oh, you're such a good friend. Show me what you got. Okay, so we got a little bit of gargoyles again. Um, you know, it's summertime, so okay. I got this uh, high orange guy or gal for sale. Gosh, that's pretty. Uh, Stoney, the Plano Gecko ambassador, number one employee. So oh, ambassador. I'm a Plano Gecko resident. That's funny. We've got some crested, some high blotched. Ooh. I really like this animal. I really got into the blotches a couple of years ago. So. As you know, they're kind of fire down, but he's already got some nice saturation of color developing. No doubt it's going to be a nice animal when it matures. We've got this high cream. So we've got a Chinese cave gecko as well. These guys are pretty cool. I think this guy's about to shed. He's got a little coming off his nose. Those are so cool. I love those. We got this this girl right here. Are any of these babies from her? Uh, no. Oh. Yeah. Oh she's, my gosh. She's not the friendliest. Oh my gosh. I've never seen one so mean. This is typical behavior. Wow. This I get her. Get her out. Never. <laughs> she looks shocked. So we got this guy right here. He's got. He's been breeding. So he's a little bit on the leaner side, but we've got this weird paradox spot. It started as, I thought it was a misfire, um, but it's only gotten bigger and stayed consistent with age, so I don't really know. That's interesting. That one's cool. Weeks oh, it's drive. It's got some nice orange, you know, he's got freaked out and dropped his tail. Yeah. It happens. It happens. we got the spotted python. Who's looks like a cinnamon roll. She's the nicest animal on the planet. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah. Wow. All in one bio tanks. Um, this is the first time I've done anything like this. 
I wanted to make it easy for everybody to buy a gecko and take it home and plug and play. It comes fully um, accessorized with isopods, ring tails, your drainage, your soil, your leaf litter, biodegradables, sphagnum moss. I am holding James's from Aloha Gecko's electric yeah. and marine, and it's also head bell albino, but... Oh, let's see what we got here. Halloween time, you'll see James dress up as a clown, but his geckos are no funny business. What I like about leopard geckos is they always look like they're about to make you a deal you can't refuse. So, these chewies were in my last Lone Star Reptile Expo video. Here's the one with the heart on its head. Let them have it, but it's a, that one stands out, you know, yeah. it's like perfect. And these are from Gecko World Austin. So, let me see this guy. I love how dark this one is. What's the locale on this one? Oh, uh, that's the pine. That's pine? This is one and only from uh, Emerald City. Yeah. That's um, a really neat gecko. Greco. I just said Greco. Greco. Right Greco. Like That's close Richard enough. Richard Greco. That's a cool name for geckos, Greco. Greco. Look at the crests on this one. Okay. Whoa, bouncy. She's chubby. Oh, this one looks structure on that thing. That is crazy. It's like a diamond. Nice. I love his feet. I love it. Monster feet. That's a good call. So, as you see here, Dave Kaufman's going to show us some tricks. Ladies and gentlemen, let's come to that time in the expo. We are so bored and restless <laughs> and tired. But, I have the entertainment. Fear not. Ready? Here we go. Thank you. Whoa. <laughs> so, um, this has been day one of the Herbs Conroe Reptile Expo. This is the first time I'm splitting up my videos into day one and day two, but I think it'll be better that way. So yeah, look forward to day two. Should be up the week after I upload this, so yeah. And here's Astrid, we've just been hanging out. Okay, I'm gonna put Astrid up. So um, I actually got a new snake, and I wanna show you guys. It's uh, a hognose female, so yeah, let me show you. So here she is. She's an azanthic het snow, and my albino male is het snow as well, so I can get snow babies if I breed them, which is super exciting. Look how cute she is! Look at her little snoot. I'm so excited about her because I've never had any azanthic animals. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video for day two. And check out Herbs Conroe. I'll link their website in the description. And also check out Dave Kaufman's <laughs> channel. So yeah, bye! I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Oh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that. I don't know. Western diamond. Okay. So this. Stop talking. I'm filming. <laughs> so this is a. <laughs>